um, gonna do a session with Makina and sit. What I part of what I'm doing is mixing it up a little bit, and I am doing it specific to um, training with her because this is gonna be a session for her. Uh, but there's gonna be kind of extra stuff I think that brings value hopefully to this. So I want you to see this action. So I got a message today that said. I've watched a lot of your training videos in your series and you're always with just one dog, whatever dog you're working with. Is there, do you allow for interaction with other dogs? Do you not allow for it to happen? Is there any, ever any free play? So I thought it was a good question and I'm gonna respond back to the guy. But you don't always see with a series like this, you don't always see everything. You just, I just can't film all day long, 24 hours a day. But I, I show you what I think is the most important and sometimes I probably overlook what is important. So the everyday stuff that we do is always important. I always say we're always training, they're always learning, especially these little ones. So you're gonna notice, like you just saw her pestering the hell out of these two. This is Taylor, this is Spry. Her attention span is so short that she gets bored with these two not messing with her. So finally she's off doing her own thing over there. So. What I want to show you is because I'm going to work on heel work today. Now, normally the difference in this is normally I would not do what I'm going to do now, follow it up with heel work. It's a little bit much, um, but I think what's sit, sit. But what is important is understanding that this dog has a lot of energy. Most puppies do. It's not just specific to her. Most puppies have a lot of energy. And if you don't allow them to do things, they f figure out ways to get in trouble. It's not intentional, I don't think. You can see, look at her attention span. Ah, well, these two aren't gonna mess with me, so I'll go run down here, see if I can get into something over there. So I like to try to give constructive releases of energy throughout the day. So I'm gonna combine two lessons. One of the lessons I normally would just try to like build into my day is go for a walk. And I'm gonna do that and we're gonna show that. And I take all my dogs for walks because they need the energy release as well. They need something to do as well. So I take them and we just free walk them. And I'll recall them and occasionally I'll bring some dummies with and I might, I might just do a variety of things throughout the day. But it's a, it's a chance for them to get some work in. It's also a chance for this little puppy to go for a walk and explore, build some confidence in getting out, build some confidence in going through thick stuff because they're, she's gonna follow the big dogs. So I get this energy released in a positive way, functional. What I don't like is, and you saw how she was just messing with them, messing with them. Now a lot of times the dogs figure that out themselves. The do these two will take it so much and then they'll give her a and she usually backs off of it. If they're, <laughs> these dogs are real tolerant. They take a lot of crap off of her. So if it gets to the point where she's nipping, biting, chewing on them and I don't like it, I'll reach down and go Arr. I'll say, that's enough. She usually fix, it usually fixes it. I don't allow it to get to be a habitual thing. So the answer to that guy is, yeah, I allow free play, but I only allow free play if the old dogs are good influences. These two just took it, sat down. Come on, come on, Makina. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's a good dog, come on. You can see she's slowly working to me, but it's just not enough. So what we'll do is we'll start leaving. All right, let's go. So these two aren't gonna play with each other. They're gonna go and work. That's what they do. Come on, Makina, let's go. And as soon as she sees that, she says, I'm missing out on it. I'm coming, here I come. So we're gonna do a shortened version of it. Oh, that's a good dog. So she comes here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Good dog, good. Get her in, tell her she's good for coming. Now let's go, let's go. And now I'll let her try to keep up with those big dogs because she's not gonna keep up with them right now. She's not gonna get in the way. The dogs are hunting, they're, probably, they're, they're thinking we're shed hunting. Because we're going through some real, realistic spots that I would go and look for sheds. And Makina's getting a little bit of opportunity to explore. She's chugging through the snow. She's gonna get a nice release of energy here. And it's constructive, it's positive. If I want, I can always work on recall with these guys. So these two are working nicely out in front. There's a good stop to the whistle. Spry, here. Taylor, sit. Spry, good. Good, Taylor, good. Now we get a nice little recall, get this little girl in, involved with it, have her think she's doing something right, sit. 
Sit. Sit. Good. Good. Sit. Good. So she sees these two behaving. I can't tell you how many times I have puppies see a bunch of dogs sitting nicely and then all of a sudden they get tired of fooling around and they sit down. They look at me. It's cultural. Good. All right, let's go. So we'll move on. And let this little guy, this little girl, let her get her energy out in a constructive way. So I'm just going to make a little loop through these beans, come back over where Ben is, and then I'm going to put these other two dogs on a remote sit, and I'm going to work on heel work. I normally wouldn't do both these lessons. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I normally wouldn't do both these lessons together at the same time, back to back, because I'd like to put a little bit of separation in the dog. I really like to get the dog focused when I'm going to work on heel work. But for filming's sake, we're going to just combine it here today. There, good girl. So I've been going for these walks and watching how Makina moves through the, moves through the, the timber, how she moves through the brush. She gets a chance to air out always when we do this. That's great. Good girl. Come on. I got to keep an eye on these big dogs. Come on. Good girls. Good girls. We can work on a little recall here. Taylor. Taylor here. Good. Spry here. Makina, come on. Makina, good girl. Oh, you're good. Good job. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit, Spry. Sit. Good girl. All right, let's go. So, now this is a very short walk. We're usually going for, and it, we don't always have time to do it, but I, I'm taking these guys on walks through the property, and if I have time to do it, it might be 25 minute walk. But it's just a really nice little chance for them to exercise. I love them running through the cover. I love her following through the cover. Come on, guys. Good, come on. There's a good dog, look who comes home first. Good job, good job. So that was beautiful little recall for her. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, here, sit. Good, get her in. Just got a nice valuable little recall out of it. Good, now what I really liked about it was she was the first one back. Come on, let's go. Heel, heel. Now we can get on the driveway, and this is again, it's just a micro version of it, but heel. Get these guys in, have them, have them walk under control. They don't have to always free run either. I don't expect her to heal with us, but I expect this cultural impact thing to rub off on her. Now when she comes up and she starts getting into that, enough, enough. Let's see if she does it again, and I'll step in on it, sit. Because I just, I want you to see how I handle that stuff. Sit. Good. And again, it's a perfect example of the attention span on that little dog is short. She'll mess with them for a little bit and she'll go, oh, I'll go screw around with this because they're not that fun anymore. So the answer, part of that answer is depends on the other dog. Do I let them have free play with a dog that's just a hellraiser? No, because it, it's the wrong cultural impacts. It's not a good example for them. Good girl, come on. Heel. Come on, come on, come on. Now she'll see me leave and she'll go, oh, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. Good job. Good girl. Come here. Come on. Come on. Here. Spry. Come here. Come on, Makina. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Sit. 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 Get her in here. Good. So that's just a real little short example of that. Now, let's see if we can get her sit down. You two sit. Taylor, sit. Let's take this. Now, today's session will have a little bit more distraction because I've got these two big dogs out here. So I don't want to lose this dog. I don't want to lose control of her. I just got a nice recall from her. Now she's going, oh, I'm going to fight this. I'm going to fight this. Now we're back to this control thing. So this is where I like to put a little separation. I just built up a lot of excitement with her. Run, 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 run. Her mind right now is just wide open. The floodgates are open. 
So to ask her now to dial back in and concentrate is gonna be a little more challenging. So that's why I would prefer to break that session up. I'd do for my walk, I'd put her up, I'd put her in her kennel, I'd take her back out, we'd come out here, she'd go to the bathroom, we'd start working on heel. But for filming sake, we're doing it a little bit, we're just doubling up. We'll see how it goes. It's probably gonna make this session maybe a little more challenging. Now I'm gonna separate from those two dogs and we're just gonna start working on heel work with her. So I am gonna just give her a minute to kind of regroup. Good. You can see, she kind of like tested me there. She kind of saw if she could get away with something. Can't. Good, good. Good, it's a lot warmer today, but it's a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be. It's in the 30s, but it's damp and cool and windy. So I'm gonna work on some heel work with her, that's it. So I'm not gonna talk to the camera so much, I'm just gonna focus on her heel, heel. Good, working on keeping that lead out of her face, out of the way where she could grab a hold of it. I want it on the back or the side of her, ideally. So I'm just bumping her. She's out of position, I'm bumping her. Come on, come on. Good. Good. Nope, nope. Good, come on, come on. Good. Nice, that's perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good. And now this is gonna be a hard turn because those dogs are right there. Come on. Good, you did really well. Good. She's a little confused at that lead hanging down in front of her. That's where I want it to be. But she's not sure she should nip at it. That's beautiful right there. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Turn this way. Good. 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 And I'm going to stop after that because it's such a nice stretch. Down, back, down. She did great. So don't go any further and have it turn sour. Instead, stop at that point and tell her how good she is. Let her work through her little buckiness there. Good, good, easy. Let her be steady and standing, and I'm gonna praise her for that. Good, heel. I'm gonna even work in a little bit of sits with her here today. Just like we did yesterday, I'm sure I'm gonna have to push on her butt, lift up on the lead. She's not sure where she should be. She's trying to figure it out. That's why I'm not stopping there. I was gonna slow down and stop, but she's out of position, so I don't wanna I don't want to stop her when she's out of position. I want to stop it when it's going good. Come on, come on, that's a good dog. Come on, come on, come on, good. I gave her two little corrections there, little taps with the, with the collar. There's another one. Good, just keep her feet moving. Come on, come on. Distracted by the camera, good, good. Turn, come on. I'm saying turn because I want her to. Getting her attention and I'm wanting you guys to hear me say it. I don't know that I say that. I don't talk hardly at all when I'm just working with her. Good. She got too far out, I had to turn. Put a little correction on her, she readjusted nicely. That's a good girl, come on, good. Good, nope. Good. Good. Come on, good. Good, there's a beautiful turn, good. Steady, steady, good, good, very nice, heel, good girl. Sit, sit, no, sit, sit, good, good girl. You can see she doesn't know what sit means, good. She wasn't sure what we were trying to get after there, yeah. Sit, sit, nope, sit, good. So I put a little bit of pressure right there and pinched on it when I pushed it down, good. And as soon as she puts the butt down, I turn that off, good. 
Sit. Nope, this isn't a game. Sit. Good. Good girl. Good heel. It's only the second time we've worked on sit with her. Yesterday was the first time. I'll go away from that. Come on. Nope. She's... No. That's a pretty firm correction. I'm not letting her climb me up me. Good. Lead's getting in the way. Come on. Nope. Good. Right there. Good. All right. Come on. There. Good. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good. Nice adjustment. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Caught her with her feet out of position. She adjusted good. Come on. Good. No. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Just looking to get a little rhythm with her. Come on. Good. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Steady. Steady. Good. Good. We really struggled to get out of that last session. That last little stretch. And part of it was I slowed down because her, if you watch back like three minutes prior to this, her feet were all over. She's super fast, 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 out of position. Her feet were just moving faster than her brain should have been. She wasn't thinking, she was just reacting. And it was always putting her in a bad spot. So I slowed down, thinking that if I slow my pace down, let her focus on every step a little bit more, let her concentrate a little bit more, let her make a good decision instead of panicking like this. And once she does, I wanted to find a little rhythm with her walking with me instead of fighting it. She's fighting it right now. There's a little walk with me. Good. Good. So I was just looking for that. I wanted her to think about three or four steps in a row and make them good. And then I was going to stop and tell her how good she was. But the problem was is I couldn't find it. I couldn't get that rhythm. And because I couldn't get it, I couldn't stop. Because I don't want to stop when she's screwing up. I want to stop after she does something good, get a little stretch of good, and then tell her she's good, and then stop and let that sink in, let her think about that. So I was searching really hard there for it. Finally, we got it. That one was pretty good. Stop. So sometimes I think we get it, we, even when we do get a good pace going, it's understanding when to quit. Get something going for a little bit, stop when it's good. Because if you go too far, the attention span is lost, she dissolves, it's, under, it's not what we want, and all of a sudden you're looking for something good again. And with her, when it, when she's, because she's so little and so young and this is so new to her, I don't need big long stretches of good. I need little tiny pieces of good for her to understand what it means to do it right. And then when she does, tell her it and move on to the next. Find another little chunk and another little chunk. Because those chunks will get bigger as she figures it out. But she's when you do something right for the first time, don't ask him to do it right for 10 times in a row. Don't ask him to do it right for 10 seconds in a row. Get it right, end it. Get it right, end it. So like, it's cold out, it's uncomfortable out right now. She doesn't want to do this anymore. So she's asking me, let's do something different. She's testing me to find out right now if she can get me to move. Let's go, let's go, she's saying. Now, we're gonna do this. And when she settles in and does it, then I'm gonna say, all right, we're done. 
bring her back in, be done. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Good. Good. That's what I want right there. So that's it. That's it for the session. Now, we, again, today's session is a combination. It's a multiple session. I wouldn't have done this the, normally this way, but I wanted to show you that. I wanted to get that point made about, you know, do I let her work with other dogs? Yeah, as long as they're like that. As long as they sit there quietly and watch the whole time. Ben, you want to spin around and just show they haven't moved since the beginning. That since I told them to sit down and Spry stood up, sit down, sit down, but they haven't moved. So it hasn't created an issue. So that's a good role model. Those are good role models. So I do allow that to, I do allow that to happen. But this is going long for her. So we'll finish it up and that's it. It's a good session. Uh, every day I try to make tiny progress. Just, just keep moving. Don't, don't do something well for a day and then wait three more days before you try something again because it's too big, a, too, too big a blocks in between. Take little tiny steps every day and it doesn't mean you have to do a session like this. I could do this, I could do this in, I could build these sessions into a lot of different scenarios in life. Going down to the shop to see the guys, I could work on heel work. I could get it done on my way down there. It might take me a few extra minutes, but not very much. So I do try to do that a lot. But for this, for documenting the how-to, the ABCs, the mechanical stuff, we are setting aside training sessions. But that's not bad either because that forces me to be really consistent with, it's going to start forcing me to, I haven't been to this point. So that's the other thing, don't panic. She's 13 weeks old and we're just starting to get into a formal training session. Man, I've been working on shit with her behind the scenes and just soft and subtle and cultural since eight weeks old the day I picked her up. We're seeing some of the benefits of that. So, she sees some horses. This is a good time to go in. Good girl. That's a good session. Good. Good.